Hello my fans, welcome to Andy's Beer Views. Yes, we're still here in Castle Douglas and having a really nice time. And yes, you get another video from it, mainly because I bought a lot of beers at Tesco's yesterday um, that I've never had before. I don't really want to take them back home, so if I'm doing my reviews now, save myself having to take them home, don't I? This beer is from Orkney Brewery, it's their Dark Island, good at 4.6% ABV, it's a dark ale. So when I first picked it up, I thought it might have been a stout, but it's not. It's a dark ale. It's going to be a dark Scottish ale. Scottish ales are really nice. I love the way they get um, get the fruit in it's out of their ale. So I am really looking forward to this. It does say on the front that it's chocolatey rich and delicious, but I'm hoping it's going to have some of that fruitiness in there that you get from a nice, nice Scottish ale. Nice ale from up here. I don't know what the difference is, I'm going to have to learn the difference. don't know why the man should get so fruity up here. There. Silly shine tip, that's silly shot, that's good. Get it all over the table, lovely jubbly. Right, so being a glass, that has put a very dark brown, it's like a dark. So American Colas used to be really dark brown, that's what that's like. I can see around the edges, so it's it's not jet black, it's a very dark brown with a light tan head. Looks really creamy, that head actually looks really good. Looks good in this glass. Let's get a snifter, shall we? Ooh. That chocolate comes through in heaps. Oh, that's a comfort. This is going to be nice, this is. Yeah, you got the sweet malt, bringing forward a little bit of chocolate. Get a little bit of dark fruit in there as well. It's got that fruitiness that I'd expect. A little bit of plum, a little bit of raisin, those sorts of fruity, fruity aromas. Um, I think this is my first beer from these guys. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everybody. Sounds like dogs coming back from a walk, so you might hear a lot of clitty clatter in a minute. It's nice, it is rich. It does say rich on the front, and it is a rich beer. And I'm gonna mess with that one. Oh, it's just gonna save itself. Prepared, a little bit of paper towel, just in case. I didn't know I was gonna make a mess of it. But just like me to make a mess of pouring a beer. You think after three years of doing these videos, I would know how to pour a beer without making a mess everywhere. Wouldn't you? But no, I always seem to foul it up somewhere. Right. Um, even creamier head than it did have. It's got a little herbal flavour in there as well. Um, it's rich. Nice bit of sweet malt in there. Some dark, there is a bit of dark chocolate in there, but do you know what? It's not as chocolatey as the aroma suggested. The aroma suggested it's going to be in for a big chocolatey flavour, and it's not a massive chocolate flavour. It is quite sweet, semi sweet. It has got that little bit of fruitiness in there. A little bit, like I said, just a little bit of plum, a little bit of raisin, a little bit like we got on the aroma. Spokiness. So I've always got roasty malts in there to, to bring, we've got the roasty malts in there, it should bring through that chocolate and it can bring through that spokiness. And it's bringing through the smokiness quite nicely, but not the uh, chocolate, chocolate flavour. But although it's rich, it's quite easy drinking. Starting to get a little bit of 
what could be little the ro the um, little bit of bitterness from the from the roaster. So it, it could be a little bit of coffee bitterness, a little bit of chocolate bitterness coming through on the back end. But it's quite a short lived bitterness. This is a short sort of beer that south of the border in England we'd look at and go, winter ale. It's got that sort of vibe to it. But it's tasty. It is tasty. It's nice. It's nice. I think this cost me £1.95 from the Tesco's up here in uh, Castle Douglas. Like I said, first beer I've ever had from this brewer. Um, yeah, do you know what? I do like it. I'd have liked it to a little bit more chocolatey flavour. Can't have anything in life, can we? Happy to score that 7.5 out of 10 though. 7.5 out of 10 for managed beer reviews. Leave me a comment below. Why don't you? Let me know what you think about this beer, if you've had it before, or if you've had anything from the Orkney Brewery. Uh, let me know what beers I should be having next. Um, I'm going shopping again to hopefully a brewery visit tomorrow or what day are we on? Today or Thursday? Uh, tomorrow or Thursday? Excuse me. Um, but in the meantime, I will have to obviously make a trip to Tesco's at some time by some and I think they had a gold nail of this one. So I might try and grab that one as well. But yeah, seven and a half out of ten, it's not too bad, is it? Uh, like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. It's good to have you guys around. Comment what you think about Scottish Ales or this beer in particular. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate your company. Until next time, everybody enjoy your beers. Cheers.